Thank you very much, Judge Merriweather. Every nominee uh, goes through a long investigation and questioning process, so the abbreviated uh, experience today should be no reflection on the fact that they've filled out questionnaires and answered many questions to reach this point. Uh, the major question which most of us have is for Judge McKiff Allen, that of course is some insight into Mike Lee as a fellow law student. We just wonder if he was as shy, reserved uh, then as he is now. But we'll hold that question. <laughs> Judge, you spent a significant time serving the state of Utah as both a prosecutor and criminal defense attorney. There's often concern on this committee as to whether or not someone ends up prejudiced one way or the other after through going through those experiences. Can you tell me what you learned and how you would balance your experience with the cases that you may face? Thank you, Senator, for the question. I credit as one of the good fortunes of my legal career that I had a significant stint as both a criminal defense attorney and as a prosecuting attorney. When I was a criminal defense attorney, uh, I, I was tempted to believe that, um, that that was certainly the more difficult role. And then when I became a prosecutor, I understood that there were plenty of difficulties in both roles, plenty of challenges, and plenty of opportunities to do good in the law. So I am grateful that I had the perspective that both of those roles brought, and I think it has made me a stronger judge and will continue to benefit and inform my perspective if I'm so uh, fortunate to be confirmed for this role. Mr. Gonzalez, let me follow up with the same type of questioning. Over the course of 29 years as a prosecutor, you've tried more than 250 jury trials to verdict, more than 120 state jury trials, and more than 135 federal jury trials. A more amazing and remarkable uh, amount of a courtroom experience. And so the question, obviously, is would a criminal defendant appearing before you believe he has even a fighting chance for justice? What's your answer? Yes, you would, Chairman. Uh, every time I approach a case, I approach a case as an individual case. I evaluate the case individually. I evaluate the, the evidence individually. I evaluate the, the individual that's before me. And I make an, an assessment and a judgment as to how to proceed with that case. And I think that that would serve me well as a judge. I would be able to look at the case, judge the case, uh, judge the individual in front of me, and uh, um, enforce the law impartially and fairly. Judge Basis, I'm looking through here for the statement about your experience. You've tried approximately 150 cases to verdict in courts of record. As a state court judge for nearly 10 years, you've presided over 545 cases, and a federal magistrate judge since 2017 presided over five trials. Tell me about that experience as you move forward to a district court level. Well, obviously, I have had a lot of trial experience, both as a judge and uh, as a litigator. Uh, that all has prepared me to be um, in a court that has trials um, and being able to use all of that experience that I have gained um, to, and, and in our district, we are having trials, both civil and criminal, uh, and we have a very heavy docket. And so that experience that I already have would serve me well if I'm so fortunate to be confirmed to the district court. Thank you. Judge Merriweather, you're moving to the, want to move and aspire to the Court of Claims, which is a little different world than you've been uh, serving in as magistrate. What are the major differences? Thank you, Chair Durbin. Durbin the, the biggest difference between the district court and the court of federal claims is that the court of federal claims solely hears cases brought against the United States that are civil, so there is no criminal docket. I currently have a criminal docket as a magistrate judge. Uh, conveniently, my background before becoming a magistrate judge was entirely civil in nature. I have uh, 25 years, if you add it all up together, of experience doing complex civil litigation, and that will has prepared me very well, should I be so fortunate to be confirmed to be a judge on the Court of Federal Claims. Thank you. Uh, I just say, in closing, Judge Rankin, I've had many conversations with Senator Barrasso about 
your background and I've reviewed it carefully and I think that the White House has made a good choice and I'm glad that you're here and thank you, uh, Judge Sh Scheidler, as well. I'm going to turn to Gen uh, Senator Cornyn at this point.